A couple of nights ago, I emailed every one of my friends telling them about a great new diet supplement that I was thrilled about. I stayed up all night copying and pasting links and eventually ended up sending a hundred emails to people in my contacts list, encouraging them to try out this supplement. There was only one problem. I never sent the emails. Turns out my email account had been hijacked. Odds are you've been a victim of email hijacking, whether on the sending or receiving end. What exactly is an email hijacking? The answer is pretty simple. A hijacked email account occurs when someone else illegally logs into your account to read your email, send emails on your behalf, or access your address book or contacts list. The most common example of this comes from our first example. Oftentimes, spammers get a hold of your account information and use your email address to send product recommendations to your friends, family, and coworkers. The rationale behind it is that if you're sending someone an email recommending a product, the recipient of the email will think it has more credibility. Think about it. Would you trust an infomercial advertising a product or an email from your sister claiming the product works wonders? By hijacking an email account, spammers hope to create a more personalized connection with those they're trying to reach on your behalf. How do accounts get hijacked in the first place? If you've watched previous Security Matters episodes, the possibility should sound familiar. Hackers can hijack your email account through a few ways. Phishing. You may have been lured into a phishing attempt. If you received an email from a company asking you to verify your personal information, you may have inadvertently given someone the keys to your email account. Beware of clicking links within the body of an email, especially from an organization or a company that you don't recognize. Security questions. Gaining access to someone's email address is relatively simple if they have an easy-to-guess security question. A lot of email accounts have been hijacked by asking to reset the password and correctly guessing the answer to the account holder's security question. Keystroke logging. Not as common as phishing or security question verification, keystroke logging can be done by either hardware or software. Either way, the keystroke logger allows someone else to determine what keys you enter in via your keyboard, allowing the hijacker to see your account information and passwords. Those three methods are typically how your email account gets hijacked. Now that you know how it happens, let's help prevent it from happening to you. Look for that episode on our website at www.securitymatters.iu.edu.